As an infinite being, you chose what? One of the most basic realities about being a spiritual being is that we are infinite. We have all the power, all the awareness, all the knowledge we need to create anything we desire. In fact, a hard fact, is that we have created in great detail everything we are experiencing in our lives right now. If you compare what your life would be like if you were to fully embrace your infiniteness with what you currently are experiencing, there is probably a huge difference. Well, why is this? For various reasons over the last few billion years, we have diminished our own power and our own awareness to the point where we are mere fractions of what we could be in this world. Why did we do that? Lots of reasons. We did it for someone else. We judged ourselves to be incorrect or wrong. We did it to fit in with a lesser or rule abundant crowd. We decided being powerful and aware was unacceptable, etc., etc., etc. Gary Douglas, founder of Access Consciousness, has a good question that can help set you on your path to reclaiming your personal power and awareness. Would an infinite being create that? My money's always short at the end of the month. And an infinite being would create that for what reason? When I argue with my wife, I'm always wrong. And an infinite being would create that for what reason? I never have enough money to do what I want. Well, you guessed it. My old buddy Bashar has three questions that should blow your mind and help with this. One, I am feeling, fill in the blank. Two, I chose this for myself. Three, I chose this for myself because it serves me. Now this cuts right into the meat of how we as infinite beings have come to be functioning as we are in this physical world. Choice. We choose everything that happens to us, and it's not as simple as making a black and white one-two choice. Sometimes we make big decisions, choices, about the way things are, quote, quote, in order to hold these conditions in place to minimize our powers or to make ourselves right. We may choose pain and suffering to prove to ourselves we deserve it for all the times we decided we misused our power. There are a multitude of reasons we make the choices we do, and the key is to become aware of what choices we've made, because when we make a choice, we promptly forget about it, especially negative ones. I call it uh, human nature. Well, it's actually de-evolution. By using Bashar's three sentences, we can unravel how it is that we ended up here, and it allows us, or forces us, to ask the right questions. How or why is this serving me, and why in the hell do I think it's a good thing? What we're going here for is awareness. Awareness trumps past choices. It interrupts the energy flow created by that choice, and requires that a new choice be made. In this way, we can, if we so choose, clear out the present and the future of negative choices, replacing them with life-affirming, loving, adventurous ones. Choice awareness is the primary driver of happiness and success. If you're always choosing the energies of your highest expression, infinite possibilities unfold and power is restored. You have been listening to This Quantum Life by Boyd Martin. Brought to you by the Quantum Health Newsletter from Pure Energy RX. www.pureenergyrx.com.